Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of Weekend Tech. Today I wanted to show my first VS Code extension, uh, custom profiles for VS Code. Uh, if you've seen older episodes, uh, there was one about custom profiles where I showed you the internals of how to use it uh, with the terminal. Uh, but now I've packaged all of that together into a VS Code extension and it's much easier to use. So let's go over uh, what the features are and what are the use cases for this extension. So uh, to install this, uh, you can go to your extension tab in VS Code and just search for um, Mr. Saurav Sahu and you should find it. And uh, once you do install it, it will show up as uh, an icon in your sidebar. So if I click this, there are two main sections. Uh, one is your profiles and the other one your uh, featured profiles. Yeah, let's take a look at the first uh, section here, the all profiles section. Uh, this is where you can create a new custom profiles with basically just a button click. So if I click this, you'll see uh, a new uh, profile with a random name just got created. And if I right click this, I have the option to launch that custom profile. So now when I launch this, you'll see that this is basically a brand new VS code with nothing configured. Uh, we'll give that a second to launch. And you also get the basic uh, setup screen because we've not done anything on this profile at all uh, if i go to the extensions uh, you'll see that that's completely empty as well so, so one of the use cases where i realized i could use uh, custom profiles is for copilot uh, so i got access to github's copilot a couple of weeks back but i still wanted to keep it separate from my main vs code uh, install so what i did is i created a new profile and if i launch this i've installed only uh, vs code uh, uh, the extension for copilot in that and logged into my account there so if i uh, launch that profile you'll see that uh, i have uh, copilot installed uh, there's an update as well and a c++ extension I, I was trying out c++ with copilot uh, let me know if you want a video on copilot that will be pretty fun to do so yeah, th that's basically it in terms of uh, profiles. You can create as much as new profiles you want and they'll show up here and you can uh, basically isolate all your settings and extensions there. Uh, that's the first uh, major feature that I wanted to cover with custom profiles. The second one is to kind of help you and your teammates align with uh, the settings and extensions that you're using in your projects. So I'm sure you've noticed that, that uh, when you have a large team and uh, Everybody has their VS Code set up differently. Uh, things like linting show up uh, in PRs where somebody has changed just one part of a file and the entire file's uh, linting has changed. So things like that you can uh, fix with uh, basically everybody having the same user settings and extensions, right? So to, to do that, what I've done is basically you can create a file called um, profile.json and we'll get into the schema of this file. Mm, but uh, basically you, you need to create that profile.json inside the uh, .vs code uh, folder. And let me show you the file as well. So this is basically has three properties, the name of the custom profile, the extensions that you want your teammates to have, and the user settings in that uh, custom profiles VS code settings. So once you have all of those uh, written down you can commit that into your source control. And now whenever your teammates uh, clone this repository and they have a VS Code uh, custom profiles installed, uh, what they can do is they can right click this uh, file and you'll see the launch custom profile um, uh, option. So what I can do is I can launch this and now what we'll do is the extension will create a new custom profile with those settings and it's also going to install all those extensions that were written in the um, profile.json file you see five extensions getting installed so we'll just give that a couple of seconds and i'll probably speed it over if it takes a while um, Cool. So all those extensions got installed. The settings that were written into the profile JSON also got applied. Uh, now if we ch take a look at, and by the way, you can see the window title also shows the name of the custom profile, uh, which is this VS Code Manager. So if I show you the um, extensions that are installed, you see all those five uh, extensions that we were written in the profile JSON here. So ESLint, Todo Tree, 
the theme and my extension so all those are here and if i want to show you the um settings json you'll see that all those whoops all those settings that were mentioned in this in this profile json also got applied so basically you have a, now a way to make sure that everybody on your team has the same vs code uh, settings and extensions so those are the two main uh, features that i wanted to cover but i also wanted to make sure that uh, this extension also um, has a way to allow others to contribute back so there's, there's a section called featured profiles uh, which is basically if i if you click this you'll um, be taken over to the um, featured folder on the repository and here you can contribute your own custom profiles if you want those to be featured so for example if you have a profile specifically for c++ for c sharp so uh, and you've installed specific uh, extensions uh, set specific settings you can add those into this featured folder and once those uh, prs are merged it will show up in the featured profile um, section so yeah, that, that's basically the main features that I wanted to discuss with um, custom profiles for VS Code. Uh, if you have not, uh, I'll obviously link that uh, older video in the description. Uh, be sure to check that out uh, because you'll, you'll see what internally is happening. Uh, and yeah, this is an active development currently. Uh, I mainly use it on macOS and uh, I, I've seen a few bugs on Linux, uh, but I'm working on those. And if you've uh, worked with um, VS Code on Windows, or WSL, uh, I'd be really happy to get your help and um, we can contribute together. So yeah, uh, see you in the next one and uh, have a nice weekend.